Um, as you said, you know, Leo's journey and our, our experience will be unique, but I'm sure some of the things I've said will resonate mm -hmm. with um, parents uh, with neurodivergent children. But I would say if your child's young, um, make sure that you get referrals with the right health professionals early. That's important. Don't underestimate how long um, assessments and diagnosis can take. Um, so Leo's diagnosis took two, just over two years and that's a very typical waiting time for young um, children in England right now. Um, also, we were unprepared for the uphill battle that we would have to get Leo into a special school. It was actually making headlines on the news last night about um, the lack of spaces in special schools. Mm -hmm. um, there's a huge lack of funding as well. Um, we had to really battle with our local authority. They wouldn't even assess Leo to begin with. So we actually had to um, appeal their decision and we almost had to go to tribunal. Um, thankfully, we didn't get to that point and he is now in a special school. But spaces are really hard to come by and it's actually, you know, like winning the lottery Goodness, to get yeah. a, a space at an SEN school today. Um, so many parents um, of children aren't actually in the education system because there's no setting there's that no will room. meet their needs. Yeah, no and Leo's room. wonderful school, in fact, can't afford to be open five days a week. So that's really tricky for any working parent. So advice is to start things off as early as you can um, when it comes to schooling and assessments and diagnosis. Really, really good. No, thank you so much. I know that the people that are going to watch this are going to be absolutely indebted to you. On